Um, Cabinet Secretary Cecily Karaoke is at this moment being grilled by the National Assembly's Public Investment Committee investigating the alleged fraudulent awarding of 180 million shillings tender to a contractor. This follows the grilling of Quorandam Limited Managing Director Mukuri Angamua, who appeared before the committee on the same issue. It has emerged that said contractor was paid in two installments of 115 million shillings and 65 million shillings in a period of one month. The committee described the dealings as a conspiracy to defraud the government. ATN's senior reporter Patrick Amimo has been following this developing story and we now join him live on the phone. Amimo, uh, what have you heard from today's sittings? What is the Secretary for Public uh, Service, Cecily Karaoke, saying? Uh, thank you so much, Ben Indeed, it's been a, a very, a very uh, active uh, session when the uh, uh, National Assembly is. Uh, Public Investment Committee uh, met uh, the uh, Cabinet Secretary for uh, Youth and Agenda, uh, Cecily Kariuki. And what emerged was that uh, uh, Cecily Kariuki did tell the committee that uh, at present uh, the Youth Fund is uh, implementing an ICT strategy from a company called Microflex at a cost of 5.9 million shillings. Uh, yet, and she also told the committee that not uh, no, uh, there is a company called Coranda, which appeared before, who's the managing director appeared before the committee yesterday, that uh, Mr. Gamau, and told uh, the committee that his company, Coranda Limited, was paid 180 million shillings by the youth fund to implement the ICT strategy, which is never implemented. But now the, uh, the company secretary has put the record straight and she says that Coranda is not part of the pre-qualified uh, uh, firms to, uh, to send uh, to the youth fund. And he also says that uh, the ministry is implementing a, an ICT strategy at a lesser cost of 5.9 million shillings, as opposed to the 180 million shillings that Poland was paid. This is almost um, uh, almost uh, 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 seven times, uh, okay, almost um, uh, ten times the cost of uh, the cost of the money that Poland uh, was uh, was paid. Uh, she was also told the committee that uh, she ordered um, the suspension of the. Uh, 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 with, uh, the board member, but now that is uh, as far the advice from the Secretariat, the Secretary of State Corporations advice, uh, but this uh, decision is yet to be acted upon by the President, and that's why it seems that uh, the chairperson of the PIC, uh, that is uh, directs the President to uh, yeah. ensure immediate uh, suspension of that board together. Chairman uh, Mr. Bruce Odiambo, whom the committee has said, uh, has described as a super chairman who imposed himself some duties that are not uh, 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 supposed to do, like suspending um, uh, uh, suspending uh, those uh, uh, members of the, of, of the board, like the acting CEO. So they, they want the president to take immediate action and suspend the board to protect public funds. Kipili? Patrick, we have seen uh, the PIC uh, grilled several uh, people. What are some of the queries that members of the Public Investments Committee are raising or asking the Cabinet Secretary? Indeed, you know the youth fund controls multi-billion shillings. It's over, uh, it controls a fund of over four billion shillings. And given that uh, the committee believes that uh, the, the money that we are dealing with right now, like especially looking at what Corandam was given or in, a, in a span of one month, 180 million, the committee believes that uh, it could be a multi-billion shilling scandal uh, because they discovered that uh, the board was allowed to open bank accounts without uh, the authority from the National Treasury. So if, if uh, uh, like 180 million shillings has been uh, lost through Chase Bank, and it also appears that there was a former member of the youth fund who was transferred to the Kenya Commercial Bank, and also when the person went at the Kenya Commercial Bank, there was a suspicious transaction from the youth fund of <coughs> 2 million shillings. So... Uh, the members believe that uh, there is uh, uh, there is uh, they fear that uh, looting uh, uh, there is uh, 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 looting has been ongoing at the youth fund because it is uh, a fund that is uh, involving um, that has uh, shillings uh, as I've indicated four billion shillings. 
So they, they think, uh, they suspect that uh, the 180 million shillings, or the, uh, close to 400 million shillings that uh, the committee is currently investigating could be a tip of the ice bank. That's why they want uh, immediate suspension of the, of the board and they want the president to act immediately to safeguard the funds that are meant to benefit the youth of the country. And Patrick, before I let you go, uh, procurement rules have been flouted according to the investigations so far. From what we are getting from the people who have been, you know, uh, grilled so far, is it clear that money was indeed lost? From what the, uh, those who appeared before the committee, from their discussions, it appears because they are not even ready to support, uh, they don't give the supporting documents. Yes, yesterday we had... Uh, and Mr. Gamau who was given was paid 180 million shillings, but he could not, his documents could not sign. So uh, this, uh, this raises suspicion because, uh, in fact, he was told he was owned by the vice chair of the uh, 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 Kamau Ishungwa that uh, with the KRA record you cannot cheat. So the, the members of the committee will also be moving to the KRA to see whether uh, this company, Quorandam uh, Limited, did pay uh, KRA its uh, VAT tax, which amounted to 43 million shillings. And remember also that uh, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission is investigating the matter. The and Secretary of State Corporation is also investigating the matter. And it's the, it's the State Corporation that has asked the President to suspend the board, a decision which is yet to be taken. And in, in fact, the, uh, the Cabinet Secretary was very emphatic. She says uh, her, hands, her hands are tied. She cannot, uh, she cannot suspend the board. It's, all, it's only the President who can act on that particular suspension or to the Gazette, uh, the, the board. What she's done is to ensure that... Uh, to issue a directive that uh, board members and the chairperson should not access the funds facility and should not transact any business. But there is a worry that uh, uh, the committee chairperson could still be uh, accessing the, the, the youth funds. Right now, when he was uh, before the committee last week, he did indicate that he was to go out of the country in the U.S. on uh, official on official visit. So members were asking uh, who is who is putting his bill while he is in that particular state, uh, state visit at the U.S. But uh, we saw the principal secretary for the Minister of Youth and Devolution, uh, 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 Lilian Omolo, say that uh, uh, that, uh, that assertion by Bruce, uh, Bruce uh, Odiambo could, uh, could have been erroneous. He says she suspects that uh, uh, Bruce Odiambo might have lied to the committee that he was uh, traveling out of the country on official duty because as far as he's concerned, the ministry has not, uh, is not aware of uh, Bruce Odiambo's visit to uh, the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Katie and Patrick Amimo reporting on this issue of the lost millions of the Youth Enterprise and Development Fund, 180 million shillings allegedly lost through uh, bad contracts. We shall be giving you details on this developing story. Now,